Kia ora, everyone, and welcome to Thursday, April 18th, 2024. I'm Joe Pratt, keeping you informed of what's happening in the world. Happy birthday if it's yours today. And um, if it is, let us know by leaving a comment in the comments below. If you share a birthday, if it's your birthday, you share a birthday with Haiti Mills, James Woods, Nate Archibald, Rick Moranis, Conan O'Brien, and Melissa Joan Hart. Let's start in the Middle East today. The UN Security Council is scheduled to vote tomorrow on a resolution that would allow for a Palestinian state to join the United Nations as a full member. The G7, or Group of Seven, are considering sanctions against Iran because of their attack on Israel. Meanwhile, the U.S. and the U.K. have both declared sanctions on Iran already. Uh, the Israeli-Hamas war has killed over 30,000, and according to reports, Hamas still holds over 100 people hostage from their attack that started this war. And Netanyahu has said that Israel will decide how to respond to Iran's attack, attack this last weekend. Meanwhile, more violence yesterday as Hezbollah, also backed by Iran, fired rockets and drones into northern Israel. The attack wounded 14 Israeli soldiers, six of them seriously. Israel then struck Hezbollah targets deep inside Lebanon as a response. And Russia reportedly downed five Ukrainian balloons that held explosives similar to a drone. That's kind of a new technology being used in the war. Farmers in the European Union are frustrated and angry at all of the regulations that the EU is imposing on farmers. They're trying to tell them when they can sow and reap and how much fertilizer or manure to use. Elections in most of these countries are drawing near, and this will be a political issue. Uh, by the way, over 50 countries will be having elections this year. We reported a few days ago about a teenager who stabbed two clerics during a church service in Australia. <clears throat> Apparently, they've now called it a terrorist attack as the teen spoke in Arabic about the prophet Muhammad being insulted. In Germany, authorities conducted a raid against a gang that engages in human trafficking and human smuggling. 1,000 police officers searched dozens of homes, stores, and offices across western and southern Germany. Um, they detained 10 suspects, including two lawyers. 38 gang members are being investigated, as well as 147 people who have been smuggled in. Police said that the people paid this gang from between 30,000 and 350,000 euros for illegal help with visas. Google has fired 28 employees after they held a sit-in at the Google offices to protect or as protest against Google's contract with the Israeli government. President Biden has received endorsements from some of the Kennedy family. These are nieces, nephews, grandkids of John F. Kennedy and Robert F. Kennedy. This is getting press because Biden is trying to undermine Robert F. Kennedy's campaign and show that he has support even from the Kennedy family. Uh, Robert F. Kennedy Jr.'s response was that his extended family was, quote, divided in our opinions, but united in our love for each other, unquote. The Senate has dismissed two articles of impeachment brought against Homeland Security Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas. The Senate dismissed the charges without even hearing arguments for or against. The votes were 51 to 48 and 51 to 49 on the two impeachment articles, obviously right along party lines. Existing home sales fell last month by 4.3%. That's the first drop since last December. Uh, even though home sales are going down, home prices are still going up. By the way, home prices compared to last year are also down by 3.7%. And as I mentioned, even though home sales are going down, home prices are still going up. The national median home sales price is up almost 5% from last year. 
and the median sales price is now $393,000 nationally. Alejandro Otero was surprised when something came crashing through his roof. He contacted authorities and they determined it came from the International Space Station. It was a chunk of metal about four inches by one and a half inches. It was part of a larger piece and was expected that the whole thing would burn up in the atmosphere, but some of it survived. In sports, the Eastern Conference had their play-in games last night. The 76ers beat the Miami Heat 105-104, so Philadelphia will advance as the seventh seed and will pay the Knicks in the playoffs. The Bulls beat the Hawks 131-116, to so the Hawks are out and the Bulls will now play the Heat to see who gets the eighth seed. And this weekend's Formula One race will be in Shanghai, China. In religion, today's quote from these sacred texts comes from the Buddhist Dhammapada. Just as a quote, just as a storm cannot throw down a rocky mountain, so Mara, that's the Buddhist term for evil or the devil, so Mara can never overpower one who lives meditating on the impurities, who is controlled in his senses, moderate in eating, and filled with faith and earnest effort, unquote. In today's mu music segment, there's a lot of debate as to what makes a hit song. Not necessarily a great song, but a hit song. Is it more the actual melody of the song, or is it the arrangement, or is it the promotion of the song? Well, to answer that, we're going to look not at different songs, but at the same song that was arranged and produced a little differently, and promoted differently by the same band. The song is Take On Me by AHA. I'm going to play a clip from the first version of that song that only made it to number 137 on the UK chart. Okay, here's the first version. This was from 1984. Okay, now that was the first version. <clears throat> now they what they did was they reworked the song. <clears throat> and it flopped again. The band believed in the potential success of the song, so they reworked it a third time and did an entirely different music video to promote it, and lo and behold, it made it to number one in the U.S. and all over the world. So here's the 1985 version to compare to the first one. Here's the 85 version. Okay, so you can see there's a difference, a little crisper in the second one, but enough of a difference to make it be a one, the difference between number 137 and the number one song. You decide. Since we're in the election season, you might appreciate a sign in Colorado which reads, the problem with political jokes is that sometimes they get elected. <laughs> and a restaurant had to have their menus reprinted when they printed homemade crab dip, but the B in crab was spelled with a P. Joe Pratt, make it a great day.